Hello, I'm Thomas, and today I am reviewing Foci, which is this little guy. This little guy aims to help something that all of us struggle with, focus. It does this by ideally helping you develop the skills needed to consciously go into a focus or flow state by alerting you of your current mental state. But does it work? We'll find out in this review. Foci did send this out to me for free to try out and review. They were also gracious enough to give me 15% off by using the code SIRGALAHAD15. They have no influence over my review and they will be seeing my thoughts and opinions at the same time you are. So let's get nerdy. So the idea behind this is that in order for you to perform at the best of your ability, you need to be able to effectively control your breathing. This is true whether you're working out, fighting, meditation, running, sports, and in this case, focus. Otherwise, you are leaving performance on the table. And for me personally, I don't like to leave anything on the table. This device hooks onto your waistband and then infers your cognitive states, focused, calm, distracted, fatigued, stressed, or flow based off your diaphragmatic breathing patterns. That was a big word. It only works when seated because that is when we move the least amount, so noise is minimal, allowing you to accurately pick up those breathing patterns. It doesn't work when standing, working out, or talking because that adds random movement, making it difficult to get an accurate reading. Next, by utilizing artificial intelligence, it learns your unique breathing pattern, which grows more accurate over time. You can see this working real time via their app by watching the little orb move up and down or change colors. Additionally, you can set it to vibrate to notify you which mental state you are currently in. Over time, you should be able to connect your current breathing pattern to a mental state and therefore learn to better control your focus through changing your breathing. In the app, you can also start a deep work or focus boost session that will actively help with your breathing and get you into a focused mental state, which sounds pretty neat, right? But does it actually work? Overall setup is pretty easy. You put the foci on your waistband after connecting to the foci app and you let it do its thing. Well, you do your thing. Personally, I wear it on my underwear for winds all around. As they say, putting it in the hypogastric region slash super pubic region, middle of it, or mid lower abdominal region for you plebs out there against your skin with an elastic or well-fitted waistband gives you the best results. I found that even when I followed the directions to the T, I still got unable to detect breathing pattern or low breathing scores often, which would leave me quite frustrated. And I got a little stress ball. Just kidding. I didn't actually get a stress ball. Over time, I figured out that they do this because they want to prioritize good readings over bad readings, aka quality versus quantity, making it quite picky with what it deems worthy, kind of like Thor's hammer. This is a double-edged sword, as when it has a good connection, it goes ham and takes a lot of reading, which makes you really confident in what it's telling you. But also frustrating is when you don't have a good connection, you get no information whatsoever, and you're left scratching your head wondering what the heck is going on. By having it attached to my underwear, I found the device would dig into my skin over time, leaving an imprint that would sometimes become mildly painful, which is obviously a negative. And no, I completely completely refuse to do a b-roll of that. This is an OnlyFans. You can find that link in the, I'm just, I'm totally joking. I'm totally joking. Since I use this device mostly at work where I wear business casual, AKA what I have on, the layer of how things were worn would be my pants, then the device, then the undershirt, then the dress shirt, and then underwear. Those layers add up quickly, so I didn't get very many readings and they weren't very accurate, which really isn't all that surprising. I did find it did better with casual wear, which would be a shirt, pants, then the device, and then underwear, so only one thing interfering. The amount of times that I've already sent underwear in this review is far too much. You can choose if the device vibrates or not and which alerts to give you. They recommend limiting it to two, which leads to less distractions, and I chose for it to alert me when I was distracted, which would give me a long vibrate, or focus, which it would vibrate four times shortly. That was a weird way of saying that. I found that most of the time it read my mental states correctly, whether that be focused, calm, distracted, fatigued, stressed, or in a flow state. Flow states probably happen the least amount, which makes sense because they're hard to get into. I do recommend searching a whole another video to explain flow states because it's really interesting and really something that you should strive for in your life because that's how you just completely own at life. I did find that this device wasn't accurate 100% of the time. I have found that those vibration alerts were extremely helpful because it would notify me when I was slipping and needed to focus back up or continue what I was already doing. I found having the application open and watching the orb, which tells you real time your current mental state, was usually a mistake because I'd get distracted by the little orb not doing what it was supposed to be doing. It's saying I have a low breathing score or unable to detect my breathing pattern and me going, 
why? Or getting alerts from my phone and going down a rabbit hole, which I think we are all guilty of. So I usually left it closed and would only open it occasionally to sync up and give me my reports. They do report it can store a day or two before needing to sync, which I found was accurate. I usually would sync up around noon, around 5 p.m., and then if I wore it after work, before I went to bed. During each of those times, I would usually go over my results to see how well I was doing on focus that day. After wearing it for a few weeks, I was able to better control my breathing to get into certain mental states and slide in and out of them easier. The guided breathing sessions also proved to be helpful. I found that when I wasn't wearing the device that my focus was still improved from what it used to be but wasn't as good as when I had it on keeping me accountable. So yes it works and it works a lot better than I originally thought which was pretty surprising to me as I totally thought this was going to be pretty gimmicky. So yes it works and it works a lot better than I originally thought. Now I try to wear it just so I can get a nice little pat on the back showing me that I am indeed productive and not a lazy piece of junk. Just kidding I usually still feel like a lazy piece of junk. My first thought is that if you were on the low end or perhaps if you have ADD, that this device may be extremely helpful by consistently nudging you towards focus by keeping you accountable, but you could also argue the opposite, or perhaps it works better if you already are semi-good at focusing, or else you could obsess about trying to be in focus and why you aren't in focus, which then would distract you and be a destructive loop. And speaking of loops, they talk about all the different types of destructive loops and focus loops and stuff like that in this here little book, which is probably worth reading because it also has a lot of other cool stuff in it. So now that I've kind of contradicted myself, I don't really know how to recover from this. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna walk away. Moving on to the app, on the main screen you are greeted with your new obsession, which is a little tiny fluid orb that moves when you breathe and changes colors depending on your mental state between focus, calm, distracted, aka not in focus, fatigue, stress, and flow. You may also see learning in progress slash percentage complete while it calibrates to your personal characteristics over two to three days. You can also say adapting to breathing while it recalibrates to a change of position and focuses in on your new breathing pattern. And last, in motion, which means you need to stop fidgeting, walking, running, jumping, or doing other activities that creates too much movement to accurately infer your cognitive states from your diaphragmatic breathing signals. <laughs> Fancy medical words makes me sound all legit. If you go to the records tab, you can see your different cognitive states over the course of the day, broken down hour by hour and little orbs that vary in color. If you click the screen or tap the screen, it will go between cognitive states you were in, how long you were in it, and when you left it. You can also compare that to yesterday, that time last week, and your overall best. So for you record people, this is like a wet dream, plenty of data you can obsess over and track. You can also even brag to your nerd friends that you focused for X amount of time on X day. It doesn't get any better than that, does it? Am I right, Bob? Right? Right? Under the settings, you can choose device, which will show you the battery main, the name of the device, which you can change, get firmware updates if you want vibration on or off, and its intensity. I currently have mine on high, which I think is the perfect amount, which alerts you want, which include distraction, focus, stress, or fatigue, breathing signal quality, and machine learning to be on slash off. There's also a friend tab that I know absolutely nothing about because friends, <laughs> who has friends? What is this friend word you speak of? But I would imagine in all seriousness that this is to allow you to compare how you're doing compared to your friends for some friendly or not so friendly competition. There is also an FAQs more and guide, which is pretty much just documentation to help with the device that is probably worth looking at. Last, you can go into sessions, which include deep work or focus boost, which will help you with breathing and focus, allowing you to get more work done. These sessions are helpful and give you real-time feedback. It's pretty neat, but I didn't use it very much, so I'm going to keep this section short. Actually, this this is it. We're, we're moving on. To help shorten this already long review, I did put the setup and usage section in the description down below. In that, I go over how to fully set up the device along with some other little bits of information, so it probably is worth reading. Ugh, you're asking me to read on a YouTube video, you monster? I know. I just like to watch the world burn. So moving on to the pros, it is water resistant, just in case you get in water or wash it. Obviously, try your best to not do that, but hey, if you want to live dangerously, you go for it. It has a small and lightweight design, which may make you forget about it and put it through the wash 
or in your dirty laundry bin. It has a long battery life, approximately seven days, and it quick charges in about two and a half hours. Once you figure things out, the app is pretty simple and intuitive. There are no ads or monthly payments. It gets updated regularly. These are all things that I really like and can get behind. It does help me focus better by staying accountable. Guided sessions are also helpful. Vibration settings is strong and to me the perfect amount when set to high. It has a very strong clip so it won't be going anywhere, but there were a few times that I almost dropped it in the toilet, which made me very thankful that it had water resistance. Thankfully, I never had to go in and fish it out because that would have sucked. The AI learning works and it works well and it continues to improve and get more accurate over time. Different mental states were correct most of the time. Moving on to the actual cons, there are no buttons on this actual device. No way to turn it on or off. No way to activate Bluetooth without plugging it in first. You can't view battery on the device, but only through the app, which is a bit disappointing. I personally had a hard time understanding the device, so the learning curve seems steep, but I think that's more of a me problem by making it more complicated than it really was. The included strap is far too small to be usable for most people. I'd say I'm a medium sized fella sitting at around 17% body fat and it barely fits around me. It uses micro USB to charge, which is completely and totally gross. It needs to grow up and use USB-C. When strapped to underwear, it can dig into the skin, which becomes painful and over time leaves a little mark. With it being so lightweight, you can forget it is on your pants and make it go into the dirty hamper or laundry. The application and device can technically be a distraction by trying to focus too much on it instead of what you're actually doing. In future generations, I would also like to see more smart features such as sleep tracking and being able to work while standing up and or talking. I also worry how good this device will work for obese people, especially males who store their body fat in their midsection. I had issues with it detecting my breathing more often than I would have liked. So moving on to the conclusion, at first I totally thought it was just going to be a gimmick, but I'm very happy that I was proved wrong. This is a neat device that is relatively simple to work and operate. It improves your focus and I like it a lot, but it's a hard product to review because the findings are completely subjective. However, I can say that when I first got this device, I was a bit overwhelmed with trying to figure out how to operate the device and make it work, but think I made it more complicated than it really needs to be. Put simply, it's like a smartwatch, as it is a wearable device that instead of attaching to your wrist, it attaches to your waistband, and then that pairs to the Foci app. Between the device and the app, you can monitor the mental state you are in, and over time get better at going into those mental stage consciously through some good old-fashioned hard work and introspection. And by that, I mean, okay, I'm breathing this way, and I'm in this mental state, cool, I need to like do that more often to be in that state. If you also just it nudging you and keeping accountable of saying like, hey, you're not in focus, focus back up. If you know you need to focus for a specific thing over a specific period, you can also start a deep work or focus boost session, which works well. If you really want to deep dive, you can also use the little book that it comes with to go over the distraction loops and more of the psychology behind the device, along with a checklist to improve your focus over 60 days. Or you can just plug and play if you're just feeling hedonistic. In the end, it is a simple device to operate with deep reaching benefits. The device itself is well built, feels good, looks professional, and lasts for seven days before needing to recharge. The app itself continues to improve as does the device through software and firmware updates. The AI learning is always improving. For me, I found that I am better at focusing now than I was beforehand, and it wasn't something that I really struggled with, so I think that's really saying something. I also find my focus to be better on days where I wear it over days that I don't, which makes me think that if you struggle with focus, this device could be life-changing by keeping you accountable and and would likely be worth trying out. Just a friendly reminder, if you pick up this device, you can use the code SirGalahad15 for 15% off your order while also helping to support this channel. Of course, you don't have to use that link or even buy this device, it's completely up to you. I would love to hear if you do pick it up, what your thoughts are about it and if it actually helped improve your focus or not, because then that way other people that watch this review and go into the comment section can see more of a consensus from more than just me, which makes it better. If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a dislike. And of course, if you've been following my content for a while or enjoy this type of video, make sure to hit that subscribe button or don't because <laughs> who needs subscribers? I will see you and your beautiful face on the next one. God bless and peace out.